Welcome back to the Las Vegas Raiders franchise on Madden 20. Guys, we are in the preseason finale. Getting ready to take on the 2-1 New York Giants. As you can see, we've got to cut 21 players after this game. So that means nothing but backups will be in. No starter, none, will be on the field this week. Our kicker and punter, I think Chris Murphy is going to start the game, but we just try to build up his XP. Um, but no starters will see playing time this week. So get ready for some fun action, man. A lot of backups playing. I'm ready for this game, man. It should be fun. And just a heads up, guys, I did bump down the minutes for this game because it's the last preseason game. Uh, we're mainly here just to see who should make the team, and then we're going to make our final cuts and get ready for the season opener. And as always, guys, if you're enjoying the Las Vegas Raiders franchise, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And hit those links, man. Check out those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And join the Discord while you're there. We are in Allegiant Stadium for the preseason finale. Our Raiders are looking to finish the preseason perfect. 4-0. and Standing in their way, the 2-1 and New York Giants. All backups will be playing today. We've got some position battles we need to keep an eye on, mainly at free safety and right outside linebacker. Allegiant Stadium is packed, and they're ready for the preseason finale. Let's get it, fellas. And here comes Matthew Stafford in the offense. He's had a pretty solid preseason so far, but now he's got to lead this offense. It's first and 10. Stafford under center. He's got Ridley in the backfield. And the big fella gets the handoff, breaks it out to the right, makes a move on the corner, but gets stuffed for no gain. All right, second and 10, Stafford in the gun. Trips to the right. Say Brown split out to the left. Stafford steps up and finds ESB wide open over the middle, and he picks up 15. So after the catch, that makes it first and 10, ball at the 45. Ridley's in the backfield. And the big fella gets the handoff, takes the ball, runs through a defender, and picks up nine. Setting up the second and one. Stafford stays in the gun, Ridley in the back there with him. He gets the handoff, cuts it back to the right, and pushes the pile to get four. Raiders get the first down, and Carr comes out in the gun, trips to the right, drops back, tries to throw it out for Green, but gets picked off. Who is that, man? That's Baker on the play. Great play by the corner. He ran the route better than Green did. So now the Giants take over. It's first and 10. Jones under center. Saquon in the backfield. And you know the big fella's getting the handoff. He breaks off a tackle and gets pushed ahead for 11. So after the tough run, it's first and 10. Jones has twins to the left. But they give it back to Saquon. He breaks one tackle, but he's not getting away from Fulcher. It's second and eight. Jones comes out in the empty set. Five wide receivers. Checks it down, finds number 83. I think that's Edwards. And he picks up 10 in the first. Second and 10. Two tight end sets for the Giants. This usually means Saquon time. And that's what, that's what it is. He bounces off of Fulcher, but moves the pile to get one. So now it's third and long. Third and nine. Trips to the right. Jones stays in the gun. Saquon next to him. Woo, picked off. Good play, Fulch. Cut it back outside. There you go. Fight, fight, keep fighting. Let's go. Look at the rookie. Fulcher with the interception. What a play. He's trying to solidify that second right outside linebacker spot. And the Raiders take back over his first and 10. Two tight ends set. And really gets the handoff, makes a cut, tries to get some yardage, picks up two. So that makes it third and six. Stafford in the gun. Five wide receivers. He comes out throwing. Finds J Pax on the slant. He makes the tough grab, and it's a first down for the Raiders. All right, first and ten ball in Giants territory. Stafford hands it off. He's got really, he's got some running room. Takes the big hit, but still picks up six, seven. Nice drive so far for Stafford and the boys. It's first and ten. Matt stays in the gun. Drops back, here comes the rush. Finds Titus Green wide open across the middle. He picks up 11, another first down for the silver and black. So ball's at the 19, Stafford under center. He's handed off to Ridley, he catches the block on the outside. 
Tries to turn the corner, bounces off of a defender, steps out after picking up about six. So they gave him seven on that one. It's second and three. Stafford in the gun. He drops back, gets it off. Tries to throw it to Brown on the slant, but it gets knocked down. So that's going to do it for the first quarter. 0-0, zero, zero, but the Raiders are driving. Oh, we've got all the backups in now. It's first and 10. Duffy under center. He hands it off to Campbell. He uses that speed to get to the outside. Takes the big hit, but gets pushed out at the seven. First and goal, Raiders. So it's first and goal. Duffy in the gun. Four wide receivers. Paxson in the slot. Drops back. Here comes the blitz. Finds Paxson wide open, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Jordan Paxson uses that speed to get in the end zone, giving the silver and black a 7-0 lead. So it's first and 10. Giants take over. They come out with trips to the left. Checks it down to his running back. He's got some running room. Breaks the tackle, and he's off to the races. One man to beat. Mullins can't bring him down. Finally, they bring him down after picking up 47 yards. Tough way to start for the backups. It's first and 10 after the big gain. And Tucker goes back to the air. Swings it to the outside. Hits 84. He breaks the tackle. It gets brought down at the 10. Now the Giants come out. Tucker comes out in the empty set. Five wide receivers. Off the tip. Come on, man. Hughes makes the grab off the tip. Touchdown, Giants. We had a play on it. One, two, and then Hughes makes it. Come on, fellas. Just how the Giants drew, drew it up. So, Giants come down, get a touchdown. Now they get the ball back. It's first and ten. Trips to the left, but it's a handoff. Good tackle. Kendall makes the play. Third and two. It's a handoff, and he's got a lot of running room up the middle. As Maynard, and he picks up 11. Got my two worst D tackles in there. Second and two. Play action. Go back. Come down. On the outside, what a dot. That's Hughes again. Tucker is 4-4 four four for 87 yards. So after a nice one-handed grab, it's first and 10. Play action. Get back. Oh, Kendall, pick that off. You got to pick that. Second and 10. Tucker in the gun. Twins on both sides. Drag routes. 85 makes the grab. Gets brought down after picking up six. For the angle. Oh, my God. Kendall, come on, bro. That's twice you done got burnt that way. Great catch up the scene. So it's first and 10, trips to the left. Here comes the rush. Tucker gets sacked. That's Davidson on the play. Stingy defense right here. Third and goal, trips to the left for Tucker. Delay routes. Get there. Good tackle. Good tackle. Who is that? Is that Chef? Yes, sir. Kendall Sheffield with the touchdown save and tackle. All right, so it's first and 10, and Coach wants to bomb it out. Duffy comes out in the empty set, five wide receivers. Drops back. Loads up, goes deep. Oh, Underthrew Paxson. That's intercepted. And that's how the first half is going to end. Duffy throws an interception, and the Giants go into the half up 10 to 7. I've seen some good stuff, man, out of Kendall Sheffield. Uh, I've seen some good stuff out of uh, Matt Stafford, but we're losing right now, and I don't want to lose. <laughs> now it's second and two. Another play action. Two routes. Oh, Dell makes an incredible catch. In front of four Raiders. I don't know how he caught this. Look at it. Let's count it. One, two, three, four. That's awful, man. So it's first and ten. Duffy's still in that quarterback. Radley's next to him. 
And the speedster gets the handoff, breaks it out to the right. Just needed one more block, but he still picks up 13. All right, third and eight, Duffy in the gun. Watch out for the blitz. And that's what happens, he gets sacked. Come on, bro. So we got a new quarterback in the game now. This is Cox, he's number 14. It's first and 10, he's got a bunch to the right. Gets rid of it. Connects with uh, Green, and he picks up seven. Campbell in the backfield. He gets his number called, makes, tries to make a move on the safety, but gets dropped for a TFL. So it's third and five. Cox in the gun, five wide receivers. Here comes the blitz. He finds Paxson. He breaks the tackle, takes the big hit, but gets the first. But what's the call? Holding. Come on, man. After I got rid of the ball. Come on, Marshall. After the holding penalty, it makes it sec or third and 15. Cox in the gun. Three wide receivers to the right. And he cannot connect with Paxson. He was wide open. Ugh. It's first and 10. Play action. Go back. Give me that. There you go, Kendall. Finally. All right. Turn around and block somebody. Let's go. Great play. Great play, Leo. So the defense gets the stop, and it's first and 10. Cox under center. And he hands it off to Campbell, who gets no blocking. That was awful. He's got six carries for seven yards on the day. All right. So now we're looking at a third and 10. Cox in the gun, trips to the right. How, why is that inaccurate? All right, guys, put your fours in the air. We're going into the fourth quarter. Down 13 to seven. Defense looking for a stop. All right, first and 10 after the penalty. Tucker under center. Play action. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Good sack, good sack. I see you, Rhodes. Let's go. Third and 17. Tucker in the gun trips to the left. Watch that underneath route coming right there. Yep. Get up. Give me that. Let's go. Trayvon Mullen with the interception. Let's go. Defense forces another turnover, and Matthew Stafford comes back into the game. He goes play action. Looking to go deep. He's got Paxson. He makes the catch. Touchdown Raiders. What a play. Matthew Stafford with the bomb. 67 yards to the house. And just like that, the Raiders regain the lead. Jordan Paxson with his second touchdown on the day, showing what he can do at wide receiver. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on, Trey. How? How does he beat you up the seam? 78 yards to the house. Now the Giants are set up to go for two. Let's go put him up a touchdown. But no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. All right, second and 10. Stafford stays in the gun, trips to the right. Brings a man in motion. Goes up top. He's got Paxton again. Look at the speedster go. 5-10. Touchdown Raiders. Jay Pax gets his third touchdown of the day. This time for 58 yards out. Woo. Be great, Jordan Paxton. Be great. And now the Raiders set up to go for two. Stafford's in the gun. Drops back. And he hits ESB in the end zone. Raiders go up by a field goal. Second and nine, they go no huddle. Oh my gosh, who is 34 and why is he getting torched like that? Downey makes another grab in his first and 10. So second and 10 after the incompletion, Tucker in the gun. Raiders looking for the turnover. Oh, come on, you gotta be there. They go no huddle. Good defense. Good defense. Second and 10. 
Tucker stays in the gun. Crunch time defense. Ooh, Hughes makes the tough grab over the middle and gets nine. Third and one. Oh, he dropped it. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sweating. I want you to show me you can make this. All right, Rosa from long distance. It's up, and it's good. <laughs> he ties it up. What a kick. All right, man, we just need a field goal. We just need a field goal to win, fellas. Let's go. All right, first and 10, Stafford in the gun. And he goes play action, fakes it to Ratley. Loads up, goes deep. Look at Jordan Paxson going up to make the grab. What a catch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time out, Raiders. I, what, what just happened? So after that great catch by Paxson, it's first and 10 ball at the 41. And the Raiders put it on the ground. Campbell goes up the middle, gets stuffed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have any timeouts. Oh, no. Oh, we got to go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, last play. Safford in the gun. He drops back. Loads up, goes deep. Oh, he got set. Come on, man. Really? So that's how it's going to end in a tie. Are we going to overtime? We're going to overtime. Extra football in preseason. We're headed to overtime. Tied up at 22. All right, so it's first and 10. Exciting preseason football here. We're in overtime. Stafford's got two tight ends on the field. And he hands it off to Campbell. He breaks it outside, breaks the tackle, tries to make a move, and picks up three. So makes it second and seven. Stafford in a gun, three wideouts to the right. Drops back. And look at this dot. Jordan Paxson, have yourself a day, young man. He makes the grab first down. Six catches, 193 yards. So first and 10, Stafford under center. Goes play action. Goes deep. There's Paxson again. Oh, he threw a pick. Come on. Oh, what a play by Crawford. Great play by Crawford. They just need a field goal. And Rosa's tied it up. So it's first and 10. Run play. And they're in field goal range, just like that. So it's third and seven. It's got to be a run. It is. He goes straight up the middle, but does not get the first down. Set up a fourth and one. Oh, I tried to call the timeout. And that's going to end it. Rosas comes on to kick the chip shot field goal. The Giants get the win at a thriller, 25-22. to 22. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not upset about this game, man. That was a great game. We finished the preseason 3-1. and one. Our backups did an awesome job. Now it's decision time. Who is going to make this team? Taking a look at our stats, Stafford finished the game 10 of 17, 230 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Donnell Cox came in one of four for seven yards. And then Cooper Duffy, one of four, seven yards, a touchdown, and an interception. On the ground, when Ridley went out the game, we could not get things going. Leonard Campbell finished with 10 carries for 13 yards. Ridley had seven carries for 10 yards. And then Damian Riley had one carry for 13 yards. But out wide, your player of the game has to be Jordan Paxson. Six catches for 193 yards and three touchdowns. He's showing why he should be used a lot more on the offensive side of the ball. Titus Green had three catches for 24 yards. ESB had one catch for 15 yards. Harrison had a catch for seven, and Radley had one catch for five. On defense, Monte Nicholson had eight tackles. Fulcher had eight tackles. Kendall had seven. Averill had six, and so did Trayvon Mullen. Uh, Ronald Rhodes had a sack, and so did Big Paul Davidson. And in the turnover department, Leo Kendall had an interception. Trayvon Mullen and Evan Fulcher each had one interception. 
Shout out to Chris Blythe. He gets an upgrade. We're going to bump him up to an 85 overall. He gets a, let's see, plus one to catch in traffic, a plus four in catching, plus one in release, and a plus one in spin move. He's going to have a breakout year this year, man. He's already up to 95 speed, 94 acceleration, 89 catching. Oh, he's going to be a problem. Jordan Paxson, after his big game, he gets an upgrade. We're going to move him up to a 71 overall with a deep threat. And he's got a few here. Uh, plus one in awareness, catching deep route release, and a plus two in catch in traffic. So I like to see Chris Murphy gets an upgrade as well. Uh, he's a 69 overall. We're going to bump him up uh, to the pass protector, leaving him at a 69. But uh, he gets plus one pass block, plus one pass block finesse, plus one pass block power. So that's a good look for him. Uh, especially since we're looking for him to be our starting left tackle. So now comes the fun, man. We've got to get down to a 53-man roster. That means chopping 74 people, or 21 people. I'm sorry. So first up, I think we got to get rid of Duffy, man. He's just not what I wanted him to be, or I thought he was going to be. So he's going to be the first one to go. Next up, Donnell Cox. Uh, he got a little play in time, but his accuracy is just trash, so he's got to get cut as well. The running back room is going to get smaller as well because Leonard Campbell is on the chopping block. He gets cut. So we're going to put Will Bryant on the practice squad, which makes me nervous because he could be signed by another team. And then Seathan Carter will be our starting fullback going into next season. Wide receiver room, it just got interesting, man. Jordan Paxson, he, he's going to see some playing time at receiver for sure. Uh, we can go ahead and cut Levon uh, Joseph. We can cut... Kirkland Ramsey is the next cut. I know we drafted him, but he just he's not going to see the field. I could have put probably put him on practice squad, but I mean, our wide receiver room, I like where we're at right now. Nathan Harrison is going to be the odd man out. So we trade away Anthony Walker to the Panthers, and we get a fourth rounder and a seventh round pick. So we lose a practice squad player, man. Will Bryant, our fullback that we drafted. Dang it, man. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. It happens to me every year. That's all right, though, man. Now they matter. It's time to kick off season five, and we're taking on our division foe, the Kansas City Chiefs. If you guys are excited for season five and what's about to happen, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad and hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And join the Discord, man. I'm going to holler at you guys when we get ready to take on the Kansas City Chiefs in week one. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.